I was very shocked. I thought it would be a no-brainer, you know? Oh, a memorial to the comfort women. It's been acknowledged. At that time, it was acknowledged that over 200,000, now they think over half a million women were sexually enslaved in World War II. And I thought, who could be against that? You know, it's, it's, this is just a slam dunk. And I was shocked when it turned out to be anything but that every step of the way, we have been like basically stopped or tried to stop, thwarted by the Japanese government and their allies. Well, the memorial started, um, actually it was a project of the Rape of Nanjing Justice Coalition, which has been around for about 20 years. And they had been working, especially with Supervisor Eric Marr and others, to try to get a resolution passed in the San Francisco Board of Supervisors that would approve the building of a statue. And so it finally came to pass two years ago. And so we went again to the Board of Supervisors and about 300 people showed up, unbelievable. And it was pro-people and anti-people, but at a certain point it passed unanimously by the Board of Supervisors. The Japanese consulate called all the supervisors and told them not to do it. And we know that they influenced uh, prominent Japanese Americans to not do it. And basically what they said was it was divisive, it was building animosity towards Japanese, and they didn't want to revisit what had happened during World War II. And what we said is, this is not divisive. This is actually building reconciliation on all sides. And that this memorial is part of an effort to talk about human rights for women.